Okay, let me share with you an exciting new tag in HTML5 called Mark, M-A-R-K. It's the Mark tag. Mark tag can be used for marking up any part of a paragraph or a div tag, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mark is not well, well known. Mark is not very well liked. Oh, I was thinking about Mark, my ex-roommate. Oh, Mark, Mark tag for HTML. Okay. All right. So how do we basically create a Mark tag? Very simply, you tag content with Mark. So as an example, I'm going to double click this word inside the paragraph. Double click command T. Command key T is quick tag editor control T for Windows. I'm simply going to type M-A-R. There it is right there. Hit the return key once, twice. This this is now marked with a mark tag. Mark tag. Select the tag. Make a rule. I can make a rule for that marked tag. I can select multiple words. I can select individual words. I'm just going to double click a word, command T, inside of each paragraph and mark it with the mark tag. Double click, command T, M A R. Return key once, twice. Double click a word, command T, start typing, and hit return key twice. Okay, now I don't have a rule for the mark tag. I have a mark tag as an example. If I go to my code, I can see that certain words are surrounded with the mark tag, but I don't have a rule for the mark tag. So how do I make a rule for the mark tag? Okay, so first of all, select the rule, make a Select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule. Okay, so whatever you mark as mark, as an example, double click, command T, M A R K. So I can select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag, bottom left hand corner, and make a rule. Now, in this particular case, I could make a mark for the entire site which means wherever the mark tag is, it's going to be affected. In this particular case, we're going to create a rule for mark when mark is inside a paragraph, as opposed to mark being inside an H1 tag, an H2 tag, etc., etc., etc. So we're going to create a rule for mark when mark is inside a paragraph. We're going to hit OK. So in this particular case, I simply want to make mark be older. And hit OK, and now mark is marked with older. Now you might say, why can't I use the strong tag for that? You basically can use the strong tag. But now you can use the mark tag in addition to the strong tag. Now you can talk the two separate tags differently with the mark tag. But now we can use nth child for the mark tag. So as an example, I'm going to double click a word here, double click this, and command T, M A R K. Double click, M A R K. Double click, M A R K. And double click, M A R K. Okay, now it's important to understand that if the mark tags here, which are now bold, we want to talk to them in and child. So, as an example, this paragraph has three mark tags. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to make my nth child would be, nth child one would be this tag for this paragraph. And child two would be this tag for this paragraph. So how do we do this? We can select the tag and make a rule. Select the tag and make a rule. So again, we're gonna say mark when mark is inside of P for paragraph, colon, nth hyphen child, and let's make this the first mark for that paragraph. So the first mark of that paragraph, we're simply going to make red. Now, for the nth child to repeat here, you can't use and see nth child without either publishing to the server or going to live view. Now, before I do that, I just want to have this set up correctly. So this should say asterisk tag followed by the p tag followed by the P mark tag, followed by the P mark and child tag. That's how it should be set up in, H in your CSS palette. So now if I go to live view, I can see that the first mark tag is set to red because that's what I told it to do in my CSS styling. 
child. One, this is one, this is one per paragraph, this is one per paragraph, this is the first per paragraph. Okay, so now I can simply, let's make the second mark tag a different color. The simplest way to do this is control click or right click windows and let's simply call this child two. So this is gonna say mark inside of P is gonna be a different format, different setting. In this particular case, double click, we're gonna make a different color. Okay. Now, just because we can here, I'm not saying you, you should do this, but you could do this. So I'm going to make this 120% bigger. So as you can visually see what's happening here. So light view, now you can see the second mark tag is 20% bigger. So it's second per paragraph, the second child per paragraph. So let's do this one more time. Let's double click this word, command T, M A R K, return. Double click this word, command T, M A R, return. Double click this word, command T, M A R. Get, once you start typing, it appears here, just at the return key. Okay, double click the word, command T, M A R. Now, why am I hitting command T? Well, that beats the heck out of going to your code and doing an opening mark tag and a closing mark tag. That's not a good idea. This does it for you. Command T, quick tag editor, basically sets your beginning and opening tag and closing tag. So now I can go over here, control key, pop up menu, or right click windows, duplicate this. Let's make this child three. So double click and let's make this one be green. Now, just because we can, we're gonna make this one 165%. So as you can visually see that it's different, different from the rest, okay? So again, it, you can have, do you have to have a rule for every single tag? Absolutely not. If you're happy with mark being bold or bigger, then go on with your life. But if you want to affect things differently, then you can make tags and create the rules for those tags. So in this particular case, we do have a rule for the first mark tag in a paragraph, the second mark tag in a paragraph, and the third mark tag. So if we have a fourth mark tag, as an example in this particular paragraph, if we have a fourth or fifth or sixth mark tag, then it's gonna to default to what? It's gonna to default to the mark tag CSS, the CSS rule for that particular tag. This is my default mark tag. This is for the first mark tag in the paragraph, the second mark tag, the third mark tag. So if I go to live view, I can see. So it's pretty exciting stuff how you can talk to things differently. So I can basically select things and mark them. You can mark text, you can mark divs, you can mark images. There's all kinds of cool things we could do with a mark tag. So enjoy that. Please follow me on Twitter at videos. Sub subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to be offering premium services. Uh, in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be opening up a whole new series of videos, e-commerce, for website development. Also, for those of you that have commented on my voice, I have an issue with my voice. It's a spasm in my vocal cords. There's no cure. There's treatment. The treatment is Botox in my vocal cords which I'm kind of highly against because I don't like to take any kind of medicine in the body. But if you can bear with me, I try to do videos on days where my voice is better than other days. So thanks for supporting me. Thanks for viewing my videos. Have a good day. Get to know Mark Tag and get to know Nth Child. Nth Child can be applied any tag. Any tag can be applied using Nth Child. Enjoy the day, carpet deal.